Hello everyone. In today's video lesson, we are going to study about the Kenizero reaction and crossed Kenizero reaction. So let's start. So Kenizero reaction is a chemical reaction named after Stanislaw Kenizero, the scientist that involves the and the reaction involves the base induced disproportionation of two molecules of a non enolizable aldehyde to yield a carboxylic acid and a primary alcohol so it the reaction is base induced and there will be a disproportionation of two molecules of non enolizable aldehyde so why we are using what non enolizable aldehyde because there is no involvement of alpha hydrogen like in the aldol condensation so what is the difference here with aldol condensation with Kenizero reaction the aldol condensation reaction occur only if one of the aldehyde or both the aldehyde is containing uh, alpha hydrogen so it makes the overall ion enolizable we have seen you know enolate ion but here Kenizero reaction there should not be any alpha hydrogen present in the aldehyde okay so scientist Stanislaw Kenizero in 1853 succeeded in obtaining benzyl alcohol and potassium benzoate from benzyl dehyde so what are the product will get a carboxylic acid or salt of acid or and a primary alcohol so these are the product of Kenizero reaction so let's see so in the presence of a concentrated al alkali aldehyde contain containing no alpha hydrogen so you have to remember in Kenizero reaction there will be no alpha hydrogen so those aldehyde undergo self oxidation and reduction to yield a mixture of an alcohol so what are the product alcohol and a salt of carboxylic acid okay and this reaction is known as Kenizero reaction this reaction is generally brought about by allowing the aldehyde to stand at room temperature with concentrated aqueous or alcoholic hydroxide solution okay so see this example HCHO that is our formaldehyde so if you break the structure we will see that there is no the C is the only carbonyl carbon and there is no alpha or beta carbon in the formaldehyde so there will be no question arises about the alpha hydrogen or beta hydrogen so our concern is alpha hydrogen there is no alpha hydrogen in the formaldehyde so it will undergo Kenizero reaction so in presence of 50% aqueous NaOH or alcoholic NaOH it will form methanol that is one alcohol and sodium formate or the salt of carboxylic acid that is here formic acid one more reaction if you see paranitrobenzaldehyde so this is the carbonyl carbon and it is directly attached to an aromatic ring so there will be no alpha hydrogen present here so two molecules of this will give this product paranitrobenzyl alcohol so one and alcohol will be there and one so uh, salt of car carboxylic acid this one is sodium paranitrobenzyl that is sodium salt of and carboxylic a carboxylic acid so next we'll see the mechanism so the first reaction okay hcooh formaldehyde so this is carbonyl carbon the only carbon present in the formaldehyde so there is no attach the second alpha or beta carbon so there will be no question arising about the alpha hydrogen so there is no alpha hydrogen present in the formaldehyde that is the prerequisite requirement for the Kenizer ray reaction so two molecule of formaldehyde it will give methanol and sodium formate that is sodium salt of formic acid so what is the mechanism so step one addition of hydroxyl hydroxide ion to aldehyde okay so this is the one aldehyde so one we have base so from base we will get the hydroxide ion so it will attack the carbon so why it will attack the carbon of the carbonyl compound or carbonyl carbon because we know there is due to the electron high electronegativity of oxygen it will pull the bonding electron towards itself so there this will attain partial 
negative charge so carbon will be partial positive side and O OH is having negative so negative center and positive center will react so ultimately this OH will attack here and it will form a bond here so and I have told that this bonding carbon uh, electron will go here so it will oxygen will at attain negative charge so this is the first reaction which form the product one or intermediate one that is our alkoxide ion and in the second step addition of hydride ion from the intermediate one that is our carbon ion or alkoxide ion so this hydrogen will leap from here and it will attach to this carbon okay so, and this 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 bonding electron will come here and this electron pair from the oxygen it will form bond it will come here and it will form C double bond O so see the product this H moves here okay so earlier CH2 CH H so one more H and this electron is moving to oxygen so this bonding electron is moving to oxygen so it will attain O negative and here this electron is coming here so C double bond O H is there and OH and this is the little uh, small or third step we can say uh, the H plus will come here and it will attach to this one and it will ultimately form the methanol that is our alcohol and Na plus or NaOH will give uh, Na plus to this one to form the sodium formate or sodium salt of formic acid so these two products we are getting from this reaction and this is the overall mechanism of, of this reaction or Kanizaro reaction we can say so next we will see crossed Kanizaro reaction so what is crossed Kanizaro reaction in general a mixture of two aldehydes undergo Kanizaro reaction to yield all possible product if one of the aldehyde is formaldehyde so in cross Kanizaro reaction this is the condition for the Kanizaro reaction but in cross Kanizaro reaction what happened one of the uh, aldehyde will be always formaldehyde if one of the aldehyde is formaldehyde however the reaction is almost exclusively sodium formate so one product will be always the acid will be sodium formate and the alcohol corresponding to the other aldehyde so if you see this reaction HCHO okay that is our formaldehyde so in cross Kanizaro reaction formaldehyde will be there for certain one aldehyde and another will be another aldehyde and because of this formaldehyde presence of formaldehyde we will get the acid as formic acid or salt of formic acid always we will get and another alcohol will be the corresponding to the other aldehyde see this reaction also aldehyde, and this is fixed okay HCH will be HCH or this is formaldehyde will be there and one more aldehyde so first we will you will certainly get this product that is sodium formate or sodium salt of formic acid and another will be the alcohol corresponding to this structure another aldehyde okay so this is the crossed Kanizaro reaction I hope you have understood so next activation so we know Kanizaro reaction is useful in the preparation of alcohols primary alcohols mostly and carboxylic acid we have seen that we get sodium salt of or various salt of carboxylic acid from aldehyde with no alpha hydrogen so we will get alcohols and carboxylic acid fr from an aldehyde which is having no alpha hydrogen so I hope you have understood this video thank you